Let's talk about females. Are you single at this moment of time? <laughs> it's complicated. You know what I'm saying? I got, in reality, if you want to stay in your kid's life, you never, you never single. <laughs> if you want to stay in your kid's life, you never single, bro. You know what I'm saying? But like, with this rap shit, it's, 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 it's different, bro. It's weird. When you a rapper, bro, you can't really like play like that. You don't really want nobody knowing about your family, your lifestyle. You don't really want them even, you don't even want to give a bit of tip on that shit, because that shit is real. You know what I'm saying? Like, people play games, crazy games. So in reality, I'm single. Fuck that. I ain't nothing. I never tell, or put on, a fam you know what I'm saying? I don't really talk about my family. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, when it comes to previous significant others you've had in the past, what types of occupations did they hold? Like ex-girlfriends and stuff like that? Yeah. What um, type of jobs did they have? What were they doing for a living? That sort of thing. Yeah, I don't really... My ex-girlfriend, she like... She was working at a bank, some shit like that. Like Wells Fargo, some shit like that. Okay. Um, like a teller? Yeah. All right. My baby, my baby mama, she do hair. Okay. And my other baby mama, she like work for a call center. Okay. Nothing crazy. I ain't never had like no <laughs> me, no bitch, nothing like that. <laughs> never. Never been a, in a relation. I'm gonna throw you some other occupations just in case you might have forgot. But uh, never been with a teacher. Well, yeah, my baby mama, she a teacher. My first baby mama, she a teacher. Oh. I only got two baby moments. Okay. But my first baby mama, she a teacher. Because you mentioned she, one that... She worked for a call center. Oh, right the now, call center. That's her. Okay. She graduated from college to be a teacher. Okay. What about a realtor? My baby mama in school for real estate right now. <laughs> my second baby mama. The my one son that, mama, she... The she one that does hair? Yeah, she's trying to be a realtor now. Okay. What about a flight attendant? Nah. What about a police officer? <laughs> yeah, nah. What about a lawyer? Need that, but nah. What about a doctor? I didn't dealt with a nurse before. Okay. Yeah. What about a recording artist of some sort? Singer, rapper? Rapper, singer. <laughs> I never really like, I never really try to get in a relationship with another rap, another rapper because like, I feel like that'll never work. We be on the same exact shit. So like, I don't know. I like I like rap. I like girls that rap though. I'm not gonna lie, cause like we got something in common. That I like that a lot though. I ain't gonna lie, but I, I just don't feel like I actually be able to be with a girl that rap. So so, just for clarity, you've never even tried it. This is more like an <laughs> assumption. I never tried it, bro. I always know. I already okay. know what it's gonna be. What about an actress of some sort? Whether it's reality TV show, TV, movies, that sort of thing. I talk to an actress, but like, in re matter of fact, I won't. I ain't big on trying to get with people in the industry. I'd rather like deal with like regular people. I'd rather deal with a regular person and, and fall in love type shit. Like, buzz me like, oh, she got a check mark. Let me deal with her. Uh, she got a mean dollar. Let me deal with I mean, I don't really, I mean, you got to make some money to fuck with me, for sure. You got to have some money. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm already making six figures. So I can't be dealing with a, with, a, with a bit that's, you know what I'm saying? I'm not saying it like that, but it's just what it is. Like, you ain't used to this. <laughs> so what it is. Now, why not someone in the industry, though? No, that shit all fake. That shit cap. I don't, I don't even want to even be involved in that. Like, they'll never, they'll never, never see me dealing with nobody in the industry, ever. Like, I promise you. I don't give a damn. Say this interview. I promise you. I'd be 60 years old, I'd never talk to nobody in the industry. Never. And when we say industry, we're talking about act, actress, actress, rappers, recording artists, singers, producers, none of that. Okay. I'd rather talk to a, a girl that shoot videos. I'd rather talk to a girl like that. Wouldn't that be industry, kind of? Not really. Depends. Depends on who videos she's shooting. <laughs> Yeah, but like you know what I'm saying though, like for as like okay, a okay, full okay. blown famous person, a girl that shoot videos. Okay, so let's 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 specify. Maybe you don't want somebody in the industry that's in front of the camera, but
but behind the camera, so to speak, that works in the industry you'd be okay with? I barely even want that. Okay. Because you around people in the industry. But that's who the video person but no, is, I right? But no, I don't want no video girl that's like shooting crazy, just, just, just on her little camera shit, you feel me? Not in like no industry camera girl. And you wouldn't want to be with somebody in front of the video, so to speak, like a video model, a video vixen? That's the last thing. That's the last thing, for the sure. Last Not, I don't have no nothing against that. I love video girls. I fuck with them. You know what I'm saying? I love them my dogs. You know what I'm saying? I, was, I support that shit. I put money behind them. But like me dating one of them, nah. My bitch gonna be at the crib chilling. Now what about an influencer of some sort? Like a TikTok or a YouTuber, a Instagram model, so to speak? Mm -mm. No, sir. No. What about my final uh, thought here? What about a sex worker of some sort, like a stripper or a porn star. You ever been with one of those? When you say been with, you mean like a relationship? Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm nah, thinking never, long term, never, but I ain't never, I ain't never been in a relationship with no stripper or nothing like that. But like, I salute them, I love them. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just different, bro. I'd rather be with a down to earth, like regular bitch. Now, what is that like? What is dating, okay, you being in the music industry, what's it like dating somebody that's not? Just a regular, degular female? What it's like? Yeah. Probably the best, bro, because, like, I'd rather, it's probably the best, it's probably the best situation for Golden, because, like, I just don't want a bitch that's, like, in reality, I don't even, I'm not even gonna deal with a bitch that just see me for Golden Boy. You gotta see me for me. You know what I'm saying? This is my job. This is what I do when I'm working and shit like that. When I take this shit off and I'm at the crib, I'm hanging. You feel me? So in reality, I'm trying to get away from all that shit when I'm at the crib. If this motherfucker in the industry too, I mean, it's just gonna be too much. Like, I'm never getting away from it. Never. Now, I have heard people argue. I don't even wanna use the word argue. We'll use the word debate. I've heard people debate and say, you know what, I, even though I'm in the industry, I don't want to be with somebody outside of the industry, not in the industry, because they won't understand they won't me. Understand. They won't understand That's what I do. That's where they get bad at, because they're right. They're most definitely right. But that's when you got to, they're right, bro. I can't even count, because that's the only reason I have issues with who I be dealing with and shit like that, because, like, they're not going to understand you. So, who's, I said... I want to be with a bitch that's not in the industry and all that shit. I said I never deal with a bitch in the industry, but like, I said I want to deal with a bitch that's outside the industry, but I never said I'll maybe find one. <laughs> Cause like, it probably never gonna understand me. And uh, when it comes to dating somebody non-industry or being in a relationship with someone non-industry, we'll say, uh, what's the longest you've been in a relationship with one of them as far as titles? Uh, like girlfriend and boyfriend, engagement, marriage. Yeah, I ain't never got that far. Okay, but me and my baby mama, we probably um, I probably been with her probably the um longest out of rough uh, estimate. Rough estimate. Uh, I mean, I knew her since I was a kid, but like actually with us being together type shit, probably was about like three, four years. We had my son, and, you know, shit like that. Any pros and cons when it comes to dating somebody not in the industry? We talked about one of them where they might not understand, but any other pros or cons? Well, we talked about some pros. We've also, I mean, you know what? Don't worry about that question because I think we've answered some of those. Let's just say this. Any other pros or cons when it comes to being with someone not in the industry other than what we've talked about already? Yeah, you're going to have to. It's a lot of shit you're going to have to deal with. A lot of shit you're going to have to sign up for. You know what I'm saying? Like, you gonna take the good with the bad? You gonna have to, cause like, you can be with this dude over here, you know what I'm saying? And this dude not making as much as this dude over here, but this dude gonna spend more time than this dude. This dude might tell you prettier more than this dude tell you, but this dude gonna buy you what you really want, what you're looking for, and take you where you're really trying to go. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like, what you gonna, what you wanna do? It's all on her. Anything else you want to mention about dating someone non-industry or question I didn't ask people want to know? Nah, man. I do have one more question, though. 
in this conversation, you have referred to females as the B word. <laughs> why, someone watching this might say, why does she have to be a B word? Okay. See, in Florida, we, we got, we, our, word, our, very, our disrespectful words in Florida might be disrespectful to other states, uh, other cities, but it's not like that in Florida. Like, okay, for prime example, if you hear a good rapper rapping in Florida, we'll be like, that fuck nigga snapping. In Detroit, LA, Georgia, anywhere else, you call a nigga a fuck nigga, nigga wanna fade, nigga wanna shoot your ass. But in Florida, that mean, damn, homie really snapping. Our words, our word choice is just disrespectful as hell, you know what I'm saying? We don't even mean it like that. Girls say that to us, that fuck nigga snapping. She not saying you a fuck nigga. And then like, with us calling the boom, if I be like, man, this my bitch. For us, this my lady. Bitch mean this my lady. Like, don't play with my bitch. I beat your ass about my bitch. This my bitch, but don't even, your lady in Florida, if, your, if my chick was sitting, if my lady was sitting right here and I was like, bro, this my bitch, don't play with my bitch. She's not gonna be like, did you just call me a bitch? She's gonna be like, for real, I'm his bitch. So don't play with me. That that's type of shit. Like, it's just different slangs, different, different shit. Like, if you call it, like, niggas in New York say son. If you call a nigga son in Florida, nigga be like, who you trying to little boy? The fuck? It's different word choices. From where we're from, you can't really take a lot of shit the heart from how people use their words. Got it. I'm just clarifying for yeah, people no, no, that no, may I be questioning. Saying, but if I did offend anybody calling the bitch word, I apologize. That ain't how, that's just how we talk in Florida. Now, speaking of that, have people ever, have females ever been offended with the B word in other cities or other states outside of Florida to you? Have anyone ever said anything to you like, hey, don't I call mean, me that or so, mean, something of that? I'm, I'm not, I'm not finna just go up to a girl and be like, hey, bitch, I ain't that type of nigga. Like, when I use the bitch word, I'm like, that little bitch, fine. Uh, nah, that's a badass bitch. Uh, my bitch raw. Uh, this my bitch. That's the type of forms I'm gonna be using that bitch, and I ain't finna just be calling a bitch a bitch. <laughs> finna just be calling a female a bitch. <laughs> for real. Just for clarification here, for people <laughs> watching. All right. Uh, and uh, for time reference, it's December 2021 now. Anything else? Rest in peace, Mike D.